Hey there Aries, welcome to your weekly tarot reading. This one is for October 23rd to the 29th, so let's dive on in and see what's on the cards for you. Before I get started Aries, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button for me, you might want to think about dropping me a comment and please do uh, hit subscribe as well on your way out if you do enjoy these readings. It lets me know that you want to keep them coming and it's all engagement based here on YouTube so it actually supports the algorithm in, um, you know, putting out my content so I can keep delivering the readings. So I'd be super grateful for that. Also, when you drop me a comment, it helps me get to know you and connect with your energy so we can really, uh, really uh, build this community and I can read for the collective, our collective here. Uh, what else? If you'd like a personal reading or healing at any time, Aries, the first link down below will take you to my website. You can check out what I do offer. There is a freebie linked below. That is my free uh, Learn Tarot Quick Guide if you'd like to get started interpreting the cards or to dive deeper, learn all the basic the full foundation of tarot and also my professional signature reading process there is a more immersive tarot course called the initiation linked below and that one will really give you what you need to read for yourself family and friends and maybe even make the transition into paid readings if that is you know your calling so that is there also my karmic community aka my free email newsletter and um my uh Gosh, what else? Yeah, my Instagram. Oh, my Instagram. I'm very active and interactive over there with daily readings, but please do look for the blue ticked account as there are scammers out there. I don't have any backups, just that one. Okay, Aries. We have got you are good enough, Aries. Full moon in Virgo. I love that. I mean, you've got the, the skills, you've got the you know, you've got the confidence, everything is in place, Aries, and oh, confidence is the key to your success. So maybe you haven't been feeling confident about something, Aries, not really like you, but we all do sometimes feel, you know, challenged about maybe meeting expectations or not feeling, you know, of full value and worth. This is really saying confidence is the key to success. Now this card here is the new moon and Leo card. There might be a new beginning that you're moving towards. Uh, the Leo energy for me is a lot to do with the King of Wands. This could be something that you've been called to step up and lead. Could be a leadership situation here. Could be, you know, leveling up and work career, we'll find out. But confidence is the key to your success. You know, really, you need to believe in yourself first, Aries, and if you do, then generally others will, you know, will, you know, support you and that will buy into your message. So it's time to really be confident. Let's jump into the major arcana, Aries. And I've got just the 22 big themes of the tarot here. And we have for you the universe. Wow, okay, that's the last major arcana Aries that comes after the judgment card, the final judgment. And it's generally around closing out a really significant cycle and stepping into the new. Confidence is the key to your success. I mean, with this energy here, you might be, you know, wrapping up a whole career and stepping into an entrepreneurial path. You might be leaving behind your career and having the confidence to retire. Um, it's a significant life transition with the world and it's actually a victory energy because Aries, it says that you've arrived and the time, you know, is right for you to vulnerably move forward into that new direction. So a gorgeous energy of closing cycles, opening new ones, maybe you're needing to make a judgment call to enter into that energy. We're going to find out Aries. So I'm going to pull four cards from the Rider Waite and we will clarify as we go. Okay, Five of Pentacles is in your situation, Aries. We're going to get out of that, that's for sure. Challenge the Tower. Okay, Aries, the story is coming through now. Well, I mean, this is a cycle that you'll be pleased to close out, absolutely. The Knight of Swords, which is a Gemini energy. That is your advice. You're going to be getting out of dodge. And the outcome, oh, three of swords, Aries. I'm going to grab another one for that. 
Yeah, it feels like there is definitely something big here that you are going through. Seven of Pentacles. This is unlike an Aries reading, but you know, sometimes we do have towers that we need to, to bring down. And ultimately, it's usually a good thing because the tower is really the biggest card of alignment and realignment in the tarot. Okay. I've got the Six of Cups and I've got the Five of Pentacles in your situation, Aries. So the Five of Pentacles feels like you're, you're either in a, a situation of, you know, lack or loss or feeling isolated, you know, with the Six of Pentacles, sorry, the Five of Pentacles. This is the cycle that we want to, to close out. Now, um, we are looking at a tower moment in this reading and the tower is usually... A really significant situation or cycle in our life that needs to come to an end because it's not solid in its foundation. Now that could be you finally severing ties uh, with a long-term relationship that maybe isn't growing or has gone you know toxic for whatever reason. Could be letting go of a work career situation as well so like you can either retire or do your own thing, go your own way. Because it just feels like this is not, you know, fitting for you anymore, Aries. You know, whether it's overtly like I'm feeling loss or you've lost money or there's been a loss of a job or something. This could be an internal feeling where it's like I'm just not feeling abundant anymore. Abundant in growth, abundant in happiness. I don't really feel like I'm meshing, melding and connecting maybe with the people in this environment. So we're at a critical point of change here. It does come through with the Six of Cups. Now this may indicate that there is nostalgia and, you know, fond memories associated with this. So even though it has maybe, you know, uh, transitioned to the Five of Pentacles, there might be that hope of, can I get it back? Or there's too much, uh, you know, history here for me to step out of. But we have to remember that the energy that we have right now will gen generally persist unless there is fundamental transformation here and with the block being the tower i really think that we're and the three of swords in the reading let's not forget i think that you're being encouraged to transition on here aries it comes through with the two of wands so the block here is that the situation is in the way of you reaching a bigger potential you know expanding your reality in a new direction here and I say with the tower, we often have a chance to consciously dismantle the tower before it falls, right? And that might be, well, look, I'm acknowledging that I've been in this energy, Five of Pentacles, for some time. And now I'm actually going to respond by, you know, allowing that tower to fall, but doing it through a conscious way where I am, you know, making a plan. I'm planning and preparing for what comes after that. If we sort of ignore the signs, and I, I always say the universe will tickle us with a feather for a certain amount of time saying, hey Aries, it's time for change, you know. And if we ignore that, then often the universe will up the ante and maybe sometimes get to the point where it creates a bit of a false rock bottom through a tower moment, which can be where we just lose that job or it just kind of um, like a circumstance or a situation arises where it does feel a little bit like a crisis uh, because the universe is really trying to move you when maybe you wouldn't move yourself and the difference is that we're not prepared for it when that happens. So we have a conscious dismantling of the tower because it's not a fit for you anymore this situation or there's something at the foundation that isn't right here. So we can try and patch it up but essentially it's still going to give us that energy because that's the foundational energy here. The two of wands would indicate that there is a, a different potential here for you Aries beyond this situation. It feels like the universe is trying to expand your life, broaden your horizons, take you further afield. There might be a bit of a, a comfort in this situation, but you've done your time here, the world, and remember, this is a victory. This is actually a victory, but it feels like you're getting a little bit of a divine helping hand with the Aries because, you know, maybe you had sort of fallen into this pattern of, well, I don't really know what else I can do or what else is out there, but you are good enough. Confidence is the key to your success. You're being asked to step up and lead the charge. And your advice, Aries, is the Eight of Cups with the Knight of Swords.
the eight of cups is a moving on energy and what i'm getting here aries is that you're going to get have a quantum leap forward in that journey so it's almost like you've been maybe stagnating in the situation for some time and as soon as you clear the tower it's like you just launch forward like a, you know it's like i'm seeing a rocket blasting off in my head and we all know what comes or maybe not all of us but a lot of you watching this because you watch tower a lot know that the nine of cups comes next which is wish fulfillment, which is feeling content, happy, satisfied, and an abundance of emotional fulfillment. But it's through the portal of the Eight of Cups, leaving behind what isn't it, that we enter this energy, okay? Now, with the energy that I'm seeing here, Knight of Swords, there might be pushback from a, you know an employer or partner, whatever this pertains to, areas that wants to keep you where you are. So be mindful of that. Somebody might dangle the carrot here. But you've got your ultimate happiness to, to think about. And this is a powerful judgment call. I think you're going through the final judgment right now. Very soon you're going to be in the harmony of the world. And moving on to your next cycle your next chapter Aries yeah okay so I've got the hanged man coming through magician at the bottom of the deck so yeah I think you're going through final judgment and you've been a little bit on pause here and I think you've been reevaluating and evaluating or maybe that's where you are right now you know that it's not going to be easy Aries and there's potentially going to be some kind of exit tax for this freedom meaning there might be a financial implication there might be, you know, uh, having to seek new work, relocate. There's something here that's putting you off going through the transition or maybe because it feels like quite dramatic upheaval. The difference uh, here with the hanged man in this deck is it's called perspective and it's saying we really need to look at things from a different viewpoint here. You know, yes, there might be a temporary loss, but think about what you have to gain in your next cycle and interestingly Aries the next card on from the hanged man is the death card so I often say that the very thing that we're resisting is the very portal we need to go through in order to truly liberate and free ourselves and that's why the three of swords is a three because it can be you know hurt loss grief sorrow disappointment but it's the portal to rebirth and recreation because three is that powerful number of creation. It's actually the number of the empress in the major arcana. So from that place of letting go, you know, we can recreate our life in a positive new direction. So I think you you are, you know, you're intelligent, Aries. You are reevaluating and reassessing all of that. But all roads are leading to the tower for me in this reading. And I think that, even though that might be a little bit tumultuous for you. You've got this beautiful victory energy and beautiful harmony. I feel very peaceful when, you know, I look at this, this card. And what I'm really hearing here is that the whole world is in your hands. Like the world is your oyster beyond this situation. And there's going to be a powerful quantum leap forward. You are good enough. Confidence is the key to your success areas. You're an action person. And now is the time to take it. So I'm going to leave it there, Aries. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Uh, if you'd like a personal reading to tune into your specific circumstances, do follow the first link down below to my website. And don't forget to like, share, comment, hit subscribe on your way out. I'd be super grateful for that. And I will just wish you all the love and magic, Aries. Do take care. Bye for now.